Hello all, welcome to programming screencast of image processing. Let us explore some cool ideas in image processing through this screencast. Before taking you to the programming part, let me show you the images using which we are going to do image processing. This is the first image. As you could see, it looks like some mirror image. All that we can make out from this image is just that some newspaper clipping photos have been pasted on the wall. and. What is written in the newspaper, it's not so clear. This being mirror image, it's not so clear for person to understand what is being written here. So let us apply some image processing technique, transform this image into a form that all can understand and let us try to see what is there. This is our first image for image processing that we are going to do now. The next image is this. This image has been taken from a crime location as been said in lectures. The, this whole exercise of image processing uh, is uh, aimed at helping find out the truth. This thing is the image of a bullet shot. A few bullet shots can be seen but there are many features in this image which are not clear to us. We will apply some image enhancement techniques image processing technique some enhancement technique will enhance this image so that we shall understand about the minute features present in this image who knows maybe that may serve as some evidence let's see okay now let's start off with the programming component the first image i had shown is the mirror image that needs to be flipped so that we can understand what is being uh, written in those newspaper clippings that has been pasted onto the wall. Let us see that. So that exercise we are doing now, the, the technique we are going to apply is flipping. In simple terms, it is flipping the image. That is our first image processing task we are going to do. For doing this, we need to import the necessary package. Let us do that. We need the image package from PIL library. Let me import that from PIL import image. Done importing. Alright. I had shown you this image. This image is obtain.png. The name is obtain.png. Let's open this image. It is done by this way. Image equals to image dot open. Here you are supposed to give the file path. My image file is in the same directory as that of my python script. So I am just giving the file name. In case your image file is in some different path, you need to specify the entire path. Please note that the correct path has to be specified. Else if you just specify the name, the file would be searched in the default directory where your script is running. Please note this point. The file name is obtained.png. Done with it. We have opened this. Images. This part is opening the image. We are done with it. Images in general, computers processes them in terms of matrices. So that image is open. The corresponding matrix format is taken and captured by this object IMG. The matrix format is captured here and flipping the image is the terminology that we are using here to actually convert the mirror image into actual image. We are using the terminology flipping that is easy on our minds but the technical terminology that they use is transposing. As I said that images are generally processed in terms of matrices so matrices i hope all would have uh, come across them in your high school level mathematics in matrices there is some special operation called transposing that is nothing but you are making all the rows as columns and columns as rows that is what you call it as transposing so transposing operation we are going to apply onto this matrix which will actually 
give you back your actual image from your mirror image that is what we are going to apply here now how will we do that let's see this is our matrix object of the transposed image so let me call this transposed img this is nothing but image image img dot transpose this is a predefined function transpose of this is a predefined parameter image dot flip left right this is a predefined parameter what this line does is it takes the matrix that is captured by img object transposes that matrix and this new matrix is stored in uh, transposed img object that object captures the new matrix so now we have got the actual image in the matrix representation that is understandable by the computers but now what we need to do is we need to convert it into a form that is understandable by humans let's do that the next step is we have to convert into a human understandable format and save it to a file to a file in a human understandable format that is the next step we need to do all right so this is done like this transposed image you take the matrix object which you need to actually save it into a human readable format you take this object and call save function on it this is also a predefined function and it takes an argument here same like how you had done in open you are supposed to specify the path where you want your output file to be saved here i want this file to be saved in the same directory so i am just giving the desired file name in case you want it to be saved in a different path please do specify the entire path correctly and give the desired file name let me give the desired file name i'll call this character because that was a mirror image which was not very clear to us this has been corrected so that it is clear to us corrected.png corrected.png is the file format i want the same as input file format that's fine with me so i have given that in case you need maybe you can try changing the file format as you require jpg or bmp whatever you can give that okay so now when everything is done just print a message this is for us to understand that the output file is ready just say that done flipping done flipping okay everything is done let me run this file i have given comments as well for each line of the code so in case you think that you need to understand the code please do pause the video read through that understand the code then you may proceed with running of the file let me run this file okay i got the output as done flipping let me check the output file i had named it as corrected.png let me check it corrected.png yeah i got this yeah this is the file see now it is clear for us to understand what is being written some newspaper clipping doctor accused of killing wife something like this yeah some newspaper clippings have been there we can now understand what is being written here unlike the previous image which was not clear to us you can observe side by side this is not very clear this image is not very clear to us whereas after applying the transposing operation we got an image that is very clear for us to understand what is being conveyed here so this is how transposing operation has helped us unravel something which is which was previously not clear and now made clear with the help of coding computing well among the two operations that i had said one operation is done let us go with the second operation i don't want this thing so let me comment it i'm done with the first operation so let me comment that now the second operation is nothing but image enhancement there are many image enhancement techniques available we are going to use one specific technique called as histogram equalization specifically adaptive histogram equalization um, we call it as cla 
Clahe, that is contrast limiter adaptive histogram equalization. This is just the technical name. All that you can take is that is an image enhancement technique. We are going to use it so that I had shown you that image previously. Yeah, this is the image. There are some features in this image which are not very clear to us. That would become clear once we apply this technique. Enhance this image so that the portions that are not clearly visible will be clearly visible. Who knows? This is a image taken from. This is the image of bullet shot. This is taken from a crime location. There may be some features which may uh, be evidences which open up new facts. Anything is possible, right? Let's explore. All right. For doing this, we need to import our package CV2. CV2 is the package we need. We have imported. And now I need to same like that. I need to read the image. Image img equals to cv2 dot im read image read is the parameter I'm supposed to give. Similar to the previous one, you're supposed to give the file path here. Since my image file is in the same directory, I am just giving the file name. In case your image file is in a different place, you need to specify the path completely. The file name was crime.png. Let me read this image. So the image has been read. So we are supposed to now apply the, the technique CLAHE, image enhancement using CLAHE. That is contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization. That is CLAHE. In case you are interested to learn more about it, there are so many good articles available online which reveal you everything right from the math underlying the concept. Everything is beautifully explained. You can see to it. Here our aim is to unravel the mystery. So we are not getting into the technical part of it. This can be looked up at any time. It's uh, There are a lot of resources available. It's straightforward. You can do it. So let us apply the technique to our rescue to unravel some new facts. Who knows anything may be unraveled. Let's see. I have to first prepare for applying Klahe technique. Preparation for Klahe. This is the step that has to be done. This is the uh, equalization technique, histogram equalization technique. This is an enhancement technique. To enhance the image, some preparatory thing has to be done. That is what I am doing now. I am creating an object that will have the properties of enhancement. CV2 dot create Klahe. This is the preparatory phase. We are done with it. Now this enhancement technique works well if the images is in the black and white format. All that we need is to un unravel the facts. So let us convert it to black and white format. Get to know if there are some new facts and based on that if needed we can even convert it back to color and we can do it. That is on need basis we can do it anytime. So let us convert it to nothing but a grayscale image. So convert it into grayscale image. This is the grayscale image. We have to convert the image into a grayscale value so that this enhancement technique shall be mm, really really effectively applied. Let's convert it. Gray image is equal to cv2 dot cvt color as we pass this image object. Gray. So this has been converted into a grayscale image color CVT. So CV color medium to gray. This has been this all these are predefined functionalities. 
in CV2 package. So just observe, everything has been predefined. So it is with very few lines of code, anyone can enhance any image, unravel any facts from it. This is so simple nowadays. Okay, we are done with making it into a grayscale image. Now it is okay, we shall apply the enhancement process. Apply enhancement. That is the next step we have to do. Enhanced image. Enhanced image is clahir dot apply is grayscale image. You are supposed to give the grayscale image to the clahir algorithm. Grayscale image has been passed and after enhancement all this as I have said image processing all this would be dealt in terms of matrices IMG is a matrix corresponding to your original image that has been converted to grayscale and the corresponding matrix is captured by gray IMG and that has been applied and some transformation would occur so that the image is enhanced and this particular matrix is captured by ANH image that is enhanced image this is the short form I am using it. This is captured by this particular object. So having said that enhancement is done, it is in a format that is understandable by computers. Now the next step is to make it human understandable. Let's do that and the output has to be saved in a file. Save it to a file. This is the next step we are supposed to do. We will do that cv2 dot im right image right here as always you are supposed to give the path of the file but i want the output file also to be returned onto the same directory so i'm just giving the des desired name in case you want it in a different path please do specify the complete path i would like to call this as enhanced dot png i'm okay with the same format in case you want to change the format, you can try for changing that too. And this image must be an image corresponding to this particular matrix. This particular matrix, enhanced image. The enhanced one from matrix representation which is understandable by computers to a representation that is understandable by humans has to be written. So we have to pass this as well. And this particular file should be named as enhanced.png. That is the command. We are done with it. So once everything is saved, to notify us, let us print done enhancing. I would recommend that you please pause the video here. Take a look at the code. I have written with comments. Please do take a look at the code. Understand this. Once you have understood this completely, Let's go with running of the code. Okay, now let's run the code. Yeah, so it's done. Done enhancing it shows. So let us search for this file. Enhanced dot png. Enhanced dot png. Let us open this. okay this is the given file which was not very clear now just observe this is the enhanced version of the image the cracks on the wall starting from that every minute detail can be observed and it seems some marking is over here even that could be observed all right now we have enhanced this image few more details that were not clearly visible in that original image are now revealed after this enhancement. We shall analyze this and this may open up new facts that were earlier unrealized. Thank you for watching this screencast. Have a nice day.